NFL tier list. I don't want to say this out loud. I really don't want to say this out loud, but this is assuming there's a 2021 NFL season. Ah! I don't want to jinx myself, but that's really sad to think about. Hmm. Right, let's hope for the best. Vaccine inbound. So last year I made one for the 2020 NFL season. My absolute biggest L that I took was I had the 49ers in C tier. Bruh. Now granted, nobody, I don't know who really thought the 49ers were gonna be that good other than like diehard 49ers fans, but I was totally wrong. I was totally wrong. I get it, okay? Let's start this tier list with the obvious S tier teams, okay? Kansas City Chiefs, Baltimore Ravens. I don't have to explain those. Those are cash money S tier teams, no question. Next S tier team, Saints. Saints are always good, always good. Michael Thomas should not be 99 overall. He's so overrated, but the Saints are a good team. 49ers, I won't make this mistake twice. I also wanna make sure I try to give explanations for the ones that need an explanation because in my video when I put 49ers in C tier last year, I didn't say shit about it, like no commentary. I just dragged them. I was like, 49ers, C tier, just put them there. I don't wanna make that mistake twice. So for these ones, these teams are obviously for the best teams in the league. No doubt in my mind. That's my explanation there. There might only be one more S tier team, and I think this is gonna piss people off, but I think it's the ball. Do not sleep on Josh Allen. Bill's defense is nasty. Josh Allen may be the greatest of all time. All right, that's not true at all, but Bills are really good. Seahawks added Jamal Adams, but their defense last year was still atrocious. Russell Wilson is only getting older, uh, and they trade away all those picks. Now, I know those picks don't affect them in this upcoming year, but I, I can't put the Seahawks as S tier. I'm gonna keep them at A tier. Detroit Lions, this is our year. Nope. I know for a fact this is our year. <laughs> Matthew Stafford is one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever play. Kenny Galladay, best deep threat wide receiver in the league behind Julio Jones. Defensively, we've got a couple guys. Offensively, we've also got a couple guys. DeAndre Swift just picked him up. TJ Hawkinsox. Jeffrey Okuda. All right, fine. All right, fine. I'll put them where they fucking... I get it! <laughs> it will never be our year. I'll keep them in D tier where they belong. Also, huge thanks to Raycon for continuing to sponsor my videos. Raycon makes premium wireless earbuds. They're awesome. They sound amazing. But my personal favorite part is they're half the cost of the premium wireless earbuds you're used to seeing. Celebrities like Snoop Dogg, Mike Tyson, J.R. Smith, they all use them. For me personally, it's my gym earbud all the time. It stays in my ear so well. It sounds so good. I love it. This case right here is for the Everyday E25, their best model yet. It's got six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, a more compact design. It's also got some awesome colorways. And of course, I have a link for you in the top of the description. It's buyraycon.com forward slash MMG. Using that link gets you 15% off your order. So make sure to check it out. Raycon, thanks for sponsoring guys. Enjoy the rest of the video. Here's my random one. Joe Burrow will pull the Bengals out of D tier and into C tier. Dude, Dolphins also. Dolphins, like, you feel like they should be D tier, but they made some serious pickups. They picked up some steam at the end of last season, and they got Tua. I'm going C tier for the Dolphins as well. Dallas Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys, like, their average rating is B tier, but what they're actually going to be, I talked about this on stream one, is S tier or D tier. Cowboys are not going to play average. They're gonna play either super good or super bad. So technically they shouldn't be in any of these, but they average out at B tier. That's my take on that. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, here's one. Okay, every, I, I feel like people that I keep talking to want to put the Buccaneers in A and S tier. Get the, f go away, go away. Get the fuck out of here, bitch! Old ass Tom Brady, old ass Gronkowski does not take the Tampa Bay Buccaneers from a C tier team to an S tier team. I'm sorry. Tom Brady is the greatest of all time. But he is well out of his prime. Buccaneers, B tier. Sorry. Tennessee Titans, A tier. Gotta stop disrespecting the Titans. Excellent team. Derrick Henry, savage. Tannehill, I don't think they're gonna, I don't think they're ever gonna get a Super Bowl with Tannehill at QB, but eh. Prove, prove me wrong. I'd love to see it. Green Bay Packers are A tier. I hate to say it, but they're always A tier. They're so good. Aaron Rodgers is just insane. Aaron Rodgers is insane. I I have respect. I hate him. Kills my Lions twice a year, every year, but solid team. Bears are B tier. Ah, no. Get a QB. God, get a QB. Who's not named Mitch Trubisky. And then we can talk. Uh, I'm putting Patriots B tier. They lost. 
hot. They lost so much, dude. B tier. Bill Belichick is a god, but I don't know what he's gonna work with this season. Philadelphia Eagles, A tier. Colts, A tier. I think the Eagles in A tier is gonna piss some people off, but dude, it just stops. No. Carson Wentz is actually so good, and people give him so much shit for I don't even know why, but bro, I also don't want EDP to fight me. So I'm going A tier on the Eagles. <laughs> Colts also, dude, Marlon Mack, everybody on the Colts team is playing so well. Clearly don't need Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck is a huge, huge, huge part of that team, was a huge part of that team, but I think they're gonna be good. Yo, here's one that's really gonna piss people off. I swear to you, the best defense in the league, like best potential defense in the league is the Chargers. I don't think they deserve to be A tier at all, but this is my prediction for the 2021 season, right? Chargers will be an A tier team. That defense is so stacked. So much talent on that defense is unbelievable. You'll see. I got Chargers with at least 10 wins this season. That is my prediction. That is my bold ass prediction right now. Broncos, B tier. Steelers, B tier. Steelers have the potential to be better than B tier if Big Ben comes back and actually is like slinging because I like the Steelers team too. They got a solid defense. Big Ben's awesome. Juju had a really off year last year. Uh, same thing with Odell Beckham Jr. I almost want to put the Browns in C tier, but the Browns are a lot better than the Bengals and the Dolphins, so I have to put them in B tier. My other bold one, Texans A tier. Deshaun Watson can carry this team. I want Texans A tier. That one's sketchy, I know, but I just love Deshaun Watson, dude. I love Deshaun Watson so much. I want to see him lead the Texans to a minimum of 10 wins. If I have a team in A tier, it's because I think they're going to get at least 10 wins this season. And all of those teams I feel confident on. Every team in B tier, I feel confident in about 7 or 8 wins. C tier is 5 or 6, and D tier is Lol. 4. My Lions are the only team in that, so it's pretty depressing. Rams are B tier. They're only getting worse, though. I wouldn't be surprised if they're C tier or next year they're C tier. Vikings are in the same league as the Bears, just not incredible. Actually, you know what? But I'm sorry, Joe Burrow. But if I'm putting the Vikings and the Bears in C tier. I have to put the Bengals in D tier. I just, and I'm probably gonna have to move the Dolphins down too, but I, I, I gotta do it. I'm sorry. I started out too hot with the Bengals and the Dolphins. I gotta knock them down a notch. They are on the Lions level. I feel confident the Lions beating both the Dolphins and the Bengals actually, so. Cardinals, uh, C tier. Falcons, C tier. Raiders, C tier. Falcons. I don't know what it is with Falcons. They feel like they have so much talent, but they just suck. Arizona Cardinals do not have the talent they need. They got Kyler Murray. They got Chandler Jones. They got D Hop. But it, dude, what does it matter? I always make this argument. Who cares if you get a really good wide receiver? It didn't do shit for the Browns. Browns had Odell and Jarvis Landry. So I don't care that the Cardinals got D-Hop. That's not going to make their overall team better, I don't think. Is this called the Washington they're football they're team they're now? They're is it actually called the Washington they're football they're team? Because that is the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my whole life. I get that they had to change the name, but Washington football team? What fucking idiot came up with that? You get D-tier for the rest. So long as it's called the Washington football team, it's D-tier. I don't care if they're the best team in the league. They're going to be D tier in my eyes. How is fucking dumb? Is that real? Hold on. Is it really called the Washington football team? It's literally called the Washington football team. <laughs> That is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Imagine playing for that team. I would want to die. Uh, Jets? Jets literally lost Jamal Adams. Sorry, you're 100% D tier, no question about it. And the rest of the teams honestly have no chance in my eyes. Jaguars are so bad. Now, Jaguars went from this absolutely electric defense to horrible. I feel obligated to make one of these teams C tier, but I don't think any of them are C tier. I think the, the Jaguars are horrible. I think the Giants are horrible. I think the Panthers are horrible. I'm gonna keep them all at D tier. I honestly feel confident that that is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is the eight worst teams in the league. That's the eight worst teams in the league right there. Absolutely. Dude, I get it. Daniel Jones. Ugh, yeah, suck his balls, dude. He's not that good. And that whole team is atrocious. Panthers. Who even is your who is your quarterback, Panthers? Who is your quarterback? Is it Kyle Allen? Because if it's Kyle Allen, you're gonna win four games next season. Jaguars. Actually, I feel bad saying that about the Jaguars. They got Minshew Mania. But that whole team is just bad. Lost your best player. Bengals trash. Jets lost their best player. Dolphins horrible. Washington football team. L. Gigantic L. Look at your name. Detroit Lions. I get it. I know. I've been here. I've been a fan long enough to know they're deep here. I'm, I like this. I feel really good about this. I'm really excited to come back to this in a year. Assuming the season goes on, I'm really excited to come back to this in a year and see what my absolute worst take was.
It's always fun to look and see what the absolute biggest thing I goofed up was. So I'm excited to see that. I know you're going to be mad in the comments, so make sure to just get it all out. Just get it all off your chest. Tell me how stupid I am. Come on, Cowboys fans. Tell me how they should be S tier. Come on. Come on. Tell me. Tell me how. Tell me how. Tell me how Amari Cooper's going to carry you. Tell me how Dak Prescott's going to carry you to a Super Bowl in the comments. Come on. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching as always. Enjoy. Peace out.